Question 12. You can change temperatures from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius by using the formula C equals 5, open brackets, F take away 32, close brackets, all over 9. F is the temperature in Fahrenheit and C is the temperature in Celsius. The minimum temperature in an elderly person's home should be 20 degrees Celsius. Mrs. Smith is an elderly person. The temperature in Mrs. Smith's home is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A. Decide whether or not the temperature in Mrs. Smith's home is lower than the minimum temperature should be. So obviously we're going to end up with an answer like yes it is or no it's not. But because there's an asterisk there, it means we've got to work it out. We can't just guess. So we're going to use that formula. We've been given 77 degrees Fahrenheit, so we need to turn that into Celsius. So C, Celsius, is equal to 5, open a bracket. Now F is the degrees Fahrenheit, which we've been given 77. Take away 32, all divided by 9. So let's just gradually work this out. So 77 take away 32. 77 take away 2 is 75. Take away 30 is 45. So it's 5 times 45 all divided by 9. Okay, so um, we could work this out now 5 times 45 and then divide all of that by 9. But what is actually easier to do is when it's 5 times something, okay. What you can do if you're going to divide if you're going to end up dividing it by nine you can just divide one of the numbers by nine first which i suggest 45 because it's in the nine times table then times it by five so 45 divided by nine is five so uh, we just do five times five so the answer is 25 degrees celsius uh, that means it is not lower than the minimum, te minimum temperature. So let's put that not lower than the minimum. Done. Okay. Um, B. Make F the subject of the formula. Now at the moment C is the subject of the formula because that's the one that's on its own. So what we need to do is get F on its own. So, this is just like solving equations. That F is, let's just think about what's happened, what's happened to it first. It's had 32 taken away from it. So I'll write that down. Then it was times by 5. Then it was all divided by 9. So what we want to do is we want to undo that by going backwards okay so the last thing that was done to it let's sort that out first what's the opposite of divide by 9 times by 9 so if we times this by 9 the only thing that happens is the divide by 9 disappears because if you divide by 9 then times by 9 uh, they undo each other so on this side you end up with 5 f minus 32 and on this side because you've times this side by 9 You've got to multiply the other side by 9, so that's going to be 9c. Right, so we've done the divide by 9. Now we're going to undo the times by 5, so that means we're going to divide by 5. So that will get rid of this times by 5 here, because it's 5 of these. 5 of those. So if I divide by 5, we'll just have 1 of those. Brackets not needed anymore, so I've divided by 5. Now I'm going to do 9c divided by 5, so I'm just going to do 9c over 5, like that. Okay, now then, we're going to undo the minus 32. So to get rid of a minus 32, you're going to add 32. So that will get rid of the minus 32. And then we're going to add 32 to this. So, sorry, it's a bit close. Let's do that. So that would be 9c over 5, add 32, equals f. So I'll write it properly here. f equals 9c over 5, add 32. Done. Do not write the add 32 on top of there, it's got to be separate, just like that.